Hey Sugar Boo, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel. I'm Shantae and you are on Putting Up With The Pom Poms. Now before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button and come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of our returning subscribers, hey bestie, hey mama, hey friend, hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So let's go ahead and get into this. So my hair is in need of a wash, but you know what? We gonna save that for another day. So I am taking this dirty ass hair and I am doing a side part for my U-part wig. So that part that you see me flat twisting right there, that's gonna be the leave out for this wig. So let's go ahead and get into this. I purchased another Amazon wig, but this time I purchased a U-part wig. Um, and this one is from, they, they, don't, they don't have a name. So um, we're just gonna, it's, it's an Amazon wig, okay? So it is supposed to be a 14 inch curly hair wigs you part that's that's how they they titled it on the bag I got a kinky curly one because um I wanted it to match my texture as much as possible and I didn't want to have to like straighten it or anything usually I get a little freebies with these kind of purchases but they didn't give me nothing so mm, it was kind of stingy I'll say that all right so it comes with three combs these three regular wig combs and then it has these four hair clips where it's supposed to clip to your hair around the piece that you're going to be leaving out so see that four up top and then the three regular combs going around um this is supposed to be 14 inches i, I don't see 14 inches unless they talking about like i hate when they be like oh 14 inches if you pull it out like i'm not going to wear it like that i, I purposely bought kinky curly because I wanted to wear it in kinky curly. So when you say 14 inches kinky curly, I'm thinking as in, in its kinky curly state, it's gonna be 14 inches like that. We, we need to talk about that because I don't like that. I, 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 I don't like that. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it to where I want it to sit. All right, I don't know if it's me, but I can't get the clip to stay. So maybe, uh, yeah, I don't, ow, it's pulling the shit out of my hair. I don't like that. Like, this one clip won't stay. All right, so I was getting mad annoyed by that one clip, but you know what? I'ma just, I'm just keep it moving, keep it pushing. So I'm going to add some products to this dry ass hair. So I'm first going in with some water and I soaked that mess, okay? I drenched this thing with some water and then I'm gonna go in with some leave-in conditioner. I'm going in with my Texture ID Daily Moisturizing Cream. I love this stuff on my natural hair. So I figured we'll give it a go for this wig and it did very well with the product. And then I'm also gonna go in with some Eco Styler Gel and I'm gonna use that on my natural hair and just a little bit on the wig as well. I was really surprised at how well my hair was really matching with the texture of the wig. Um, the only thing is my hair is a little bit lighter than the, the wig, but that is not to worry because I knew this was gonna be an issue anyway because I have highlighted ends anyway. So I'm just going in with my Tentation, my handy dandy hairspray that comes out with this dark brown color and I'm just spritzing that all over just to kind of help with getting it to blend with the wig. And it really did help, I helped out a lot. I definitely think I should have tried it with a darker spray, um, but it's all good. This was fine for a quick fix. And then I'm just playing around with it, trying to get my hair to blend in as much as possible. 
And here I go after everything is said and done. I let it air dry just for maybe 15, 20 minutes before I did the final video on this. And this is it, y'all. All right, babe, so this is a finished look. I will say that it, it took me a minute. It took me a minute to kind of like warm up to it. This is my first time doing a part wig like ever. Um, especially one like this like I've done some where I've made them myself but like a human hair you part wig this is my very first one this was like for the first time go first go kind of you know deal I think I did I think I did that I wasn't sure if it was gonna work my hair did end up matching the texture very good so that part I wasn't too upset about um, but just getting my hair to like blend was definitely a hard part mainly because this one freaking clip just was not acting right. Like it just kept, every time I was styling it, like pulling it or trying to like, it just kept undoing itself and it was really driving me up the wall. Another pet peeve of mine that I really don't care for this week is the 14 inches. I'm really hung up on that. Like I'm really, I'm really hung up on that. Like this is like sitting right a little bit below my shoulders. To me, that's more of an 10 inch like 10 to 12 inch kind of look like 14 inch I was at least hoping that I was gonna get like bra strap length at, or somewhere in there like mid back I will say that uh, I probably should have watched this um because when I started getting it wet and it was like dripping it was like kind of like like I was brewing some coffee over here and I didn't know what the hell that was going to look so I, this definitely ain't staying in my hair long and I'm definitely about to go wash my hair because I don't know what was it but this is not clean hair be safe out there in those amazon streets because sometimes they just don't be giving you what you be expecting that is it for this tutorial thank you guys for joining us on another video we will see y'all in another one don't forget to participate in our 25 days of giveaways it is coming to a close we have one more day of giveaways and i'm excited because i'm exhausted <laughs> but we will see y'all in another one be blessed and be safe